I'm Jesse Wente, Director of Film Programs at Tiff Bell Lightbox, and Coville and the Coens seems like a great place to start a conversation. There's a lot of Coville paintings that remind one of many Coen Brothers movies, whether it's Fargo or No Country for Old Men. The sense of ordinary people caught in extraordinary circumstances or the potential for that. A French critic about 25 years ago wrote a, I thought, quite illuminating thing about my stuff. He said, it's as if over the horizon there may be something terrible coming up or something like this. I guess, in a sense, a painting of mine is an attempt at answering the question, what is life like, you know? For me, the most obvious connections between Alex Colville and, say, the Coen brothers is the idea that there's something we witness on, on the top that doesn't tell the entire story of what lays beneath. And I think one of the things that strikes you about Alex Colville's paintings is that there are these snapshots. You sense a larger story around them, and you've only been able to see this one portion of it. And it's often a somewhat innocuous moment, this sort of almost casual glimpse into other people's lives. That's the real tension. There's this sense that you're not actually seeing the full story and that the characters in a Coen Brothers movie aren't aware of all that is actually moving around them. And I think that's where a lot of the tension and the unease actually comes from, from both Coville and the Coen Brothers. One of the other interesting things I find about Coville's paintings is the appearance of guns. And they often come at interesting moments. So you have a, a naked woman, say, holding a gun. That's something that's very interesting about the Coen brothers. A lot of their movies are unexpected characters in violent situations or suddenly confronted with the need to be violent. And I think there's a really a, a very interesting similarity between that and the promised or um, sensory violence in something like a Colville uh, painting. And I think it provides a, particularly for Canadians, um, a very unnerving feel to see guns in that in those places and at those moments so casually it suggests that violence is just around the corner or has just happened and i think that's one of the real strengths of colville's work and one of the real markers of the tension in his work is this clash between guns symbolizing violence and a scene that otherwise is not at all and i think that um, not only connects him to cinema but places him very uniquely in the art world